Spiders are incredible creatures that can be found all over the world. Though they might seem scary to some people, they play an important role in nature and have some amazing abilities. People's fascination with spiders is widespread, from superheroes to popular novels and even Halloween decorations. Spiders represent fear, intrigue, and mystery. Today we'll learn what spiders are, the types of spiders that exist, how they live, how they hunt, and even their role in stories and culture. Are you afraid of spiders? Let me know in the comments below. First, let's talk about what exactly a spider is. A spider is a type of arachnid. Arachnids are a group of animals that have eight legs and two main body parts. The first of these parts is called the cephalothorax, which is a head and thorax fused together. The second is the abdomen. Arachnids are also invertebrates, meaning that they do not have spines or bones. Spiders aren't the only arachnids, though. Other arachnids include scorpions, mites, and ticks. But an octopus has eight legs. Is it an arachnid? No. An octopus is very different from an arachnid. Arachnids also have an exoskeleton, which they shed as they grow. Insects have exoskeletons, but they are also different. Insects have three main body parts and six legs. Many insects also have antenna and wings, whereas spiders and other arachnids do not. The term arachnid comes from the Greek word arachne, which is the myth of a human weaver who got too confident in her abilities and was turned into a spider. There are 110,000 different species of arachnids, but the largest group is spiders. Do you know what kind of arachnid this is? Let me know in the comments below. Now that we know what a spider is, let's talk about some of the different types of spiders. There are over 48,000 known species of spiders, and they come in all shapes and sizes. Here are just a few. The black widow spider is known for its shiny black body and red hourglass shape on its abdomen. The black widow is one of the most famous spiders. Its venom is strong, but black widows are usually shy and only bite when they feel threatened. There is a famous Marvel superhero that's named after this type of spider. Tarantulas are some of the biggest spiders in the world. Despite their size, they are often gentle and rarely bite people. They live in burrows and hunt at night. Many people like to keep tarantulas as pets because of their chill nature and fuzzy appearance, and some people like to eat them. Jumping spiders are tiny, but they have amazing vision and can leap through the air to catch their prey. They don't build webs to catch their food, but they rely on their speed and agility instead. If you look at a close-up of a jumping spider, you might start to see why some people think spiders are cute. Their furry bodies and large eyes make them quite adorable to look at, though you might not want one to jump on you. Wolf spiders are ground hunters, chasing after their prey rather than spinning webs. They have excellent camouflage and are fast runners. Wolf spiders are famously good moms. They attach their egg sacs to their abdomen, and when the babies hatch, they ride on mom for about two weeks. Daddy wolf spider gets eaten by mama, or if he manages to escape, he gets to mate again. Orb weavers are famous for spinning the classic spiral-shaped webs that you might see in a garden. They are also some of the most beautifully patterned spiders. If you see a spider with bright, vibrant colors sitting in the middle of a beautiful web, then you are probably looking at an orb weaver. These are just a few of the many types of spiders in the world. Spiders can be any color from brown and gray to bright yellows, greens, or even pink like the crab spider. They can vary in shape with many sporting the classic large abdomens, but some having pointy abdomens like the spiny backed orb weaver. The assassin spider is truly strange to look at and often requires inspection to even see that it is a spider. Then there's the size. The largest spider is the Goliath bird-eating tarantula, which can be 13 centimeters long, whereas the smallest known spider is the Patua marplesi, of Samoa, which is only about half a millimeter. Spiders truly are diverse, mysterious creatures. Comment and let me know your favorite type of spider. I think mine is the peacock parachute spider. Spiders diversity of appearance has a lot to do with how widespread they are. Spiders can be found almost anywhere in the world. They live in forests, deserts, grasslands, caves, and even houses. Spiders are great at adapting to their surroundings meaning they've learned to survive in different places by changing the way they hunt, build homes, and protect themselves. One place you won't find spiders is Antarctica. It's too cold for spiders there, but even in the hottest deserts like the Sahara, spiders have adapted. For example, some desert spiders dig burrows to stay cool during the day. 
You aren't even safe from spiders underwater. Diving bell spiders create air pockets out of their webbing so that they can hunt underwater too. Did you know that most house spiders have evolved to live completely inside? There is a whole ecosystem in your home of spiders being born and raised in your walls. While it is kinder to relocate a spider outside than it is to smash it, a house spider may not live long outdoors. If you can, it's better to just ignore a house spider and let it keep on killing any pests like gnats and mosquitoes that make their way indoors. What kinds of spiders live near you? Let's take a closer look at the body parts of a spider. A spider's body is divided into two main parts. The cephalothorax is the front part of the spider's body, which includes the head and chest. This is where the legs are attached, as well as the eyes and the fangs. The abdomen is the larger, rounder part at the back. This is where the spider produces silk and stores most of its organs. Spiders have eight legs, and each leg has tiny hairs to help them sense vibrations. They also have multiple eyes. Most spiders have eight eyes. Some spiders have better vision than others. For example, jumping spiders have excellent eyesight, while wolf spiders rely more on their sense of touch. Do spiders have a heart? Kind of. They have a tube-shaped organ that acts as their heart and is located in their abdomen. Spiders have book lungs, which help them to breathe air. One thing spiders do not have are bones. Bones are what give the human body shape, but spiders, insects, and many other types of bugs have exoskeletons on the outsides of their bodies. They molt and shed these as they grow and get bigger. Spiders also have fangs. Many spiders make venom, which is made in their venom glands and attached to their fangs. These fangs help spiders to inject venom into their prey. Finally, spiders have spinnerets at the back of their body, which they use to produce silk for webbing, egg sacs, and safety lines. Speaking of silk, one of the most interesting things about spiders is their ability to spin webs. Spider silk is incredibly strong and stretchy. It has been compared to the strength of steel. Different spiders make different kinds of webs. Orb weaver spiders make round spiral webs that you often see in gardens. Cobwebs are messy, tangled webs in the corners of rooms or under furniture. Funnel web spiders build webs with a funnel shape that they use to hide in. But spiders don't just use their silk to catch food. Some use their silk to wrap up their prey, protect their eggs, or create a safe place to rest. But not all spiders build webs to catch their food. Some prefer to hunt. For example, the jumping spiders leap onto their prey. Wolf spiders run after their prey on the ground, and trapdoor spiders build burrows with a hidden door. When an insect walks by, they jump out and catch it. Each spider has its own way of getting a meal, whether it's waiting patiently in a web or chasing after its food. Have you ever seen a spider make a web? Tell me about it in the comments below. Speaking of webs and egg sacs, let's talk about the life cycle of a spider. It all starts when two spiders mate. Some species of spiders are able to produce eggs without mating. This is called parthenogenesis. However, most require a male and female spider. Sometimes the males will dance to attract a female. Mating can be risky for a male spider. In some species, like the black widow, the female may eat the male after mating. Once the female has mated, she will lay eggs. The eggs are usually wrapped in a silk sack to protect them. Some spiders, like wolf spiders, carry their egg sacs with them, while others like to attach them to webs. Baby spiders are called spiderlings. They look like tiny versions of the adult spider. Many spiderlings will spread out and leave their mother as soon as they are born. Some spiders use a method called ballooning, where they release silk into the air and float to a new place. This helps the spiders to spread out. Some spiderlings will stay close to their mother for protection. This can be for a few days to a few weeks. Some spider species eat their mothers. Their mother's body actually starts to break down to make it easier for the babies to eat them. Talk about sacrifice. As spiders grow, they molt by shedding their exoskeleton, which is like their skin. They do this several times until they are adult spiders. Then they are ready to live their lives and possibly have baby spiders of their own. I caught a large spider in a jar once and noticed that it was covered in babies. It was really interesting to watch. Have you ever seen baby spiders? Many people find spiders scary. This is interesting since spiders are so small. The thing that makes them a threat to people 
is their venom. Most spiders have venom that helps them to catch their prey, but only a few are dangerous to humans. Venom works by paralyzing or killing the spider's prey, making it easier for the spider to eat. Some of the most venomous spiders include the Brazilian wandering spider, which is also called the banana spider. This South American spider is highly toxic to humans. However, most bites from this spider will not result in a severe case. Since 1903, there have been about 15 recorded deaths from this spider. The Sydney funnelweb spider is another venomous spider. It lives in Australia. Though its bite is dangerous to humans, there have been no recorded deaths since the invention of the anti-venom. A famous North American spider is the black widow. This spider has a strong venom. However, bites are rare and usually only cause mild symptoms in humans. There have been no recorded deaths from this spider since 1983, but you should seek medical help if you are bitten by it. The brown recluse spider's bite can cause a serious reaction, but they are shy and usually avoid humans. The last recorded death from this spider was in 2004. Though spiders can seem scary, most can't hurt you even if they wanted to. For the ones that can cause harm, it is important to remember that most spiders only bite when they feel threatened. For most people who are bitten, there is anti-venom available to treat the bite. Seek medical help if you are bitten by a spider. My sister was once bitten on the mouth by a spider. It had crawled into her straw during an outdoor event. She got medical help and was fine. Make sure to always check drinks that you leave unattended outside. There are lots of bugs that might want to take a sip while you're gone. While people find spiders and their venom scary, they also find them fascinating. Spiders have been part of human culture for thousands of years. These interesting creatures are characters in our books and legends and even Halloween decorations. A famous example of a story about a spider also happens to have one of my favorite animals in it, a pig. Charlotte from the famous children's book Charlotte Webb is a kind and clever spider who helps save her pig friend Wilbur. Another childhood classic is the song Itsy Bitsy Spider, which is currently one of my toddler's favorite songs. Spider-Man is a superhero who gets his powers from radioactive spider bite. And Aragog is the giant spider from the popular Harry Potter series. But spiders are not just in modern media. In Greek mythology, Arachne was a skilled weaver who turned into a spider. This story gives us a lesson not to become so confident in your ability that you think you can't be beaten. Arachne is where the modern term arachnid comes from. The Anunzi stories are popular in West Africa and feature a trickster spider who is clever but often finds themselves in trouble. Spiders are often used in Halloween decorations because of their spooky appearance. Spiders have some amazing abilities that we don't see in many other creatures. They are widespread and a little spooky, which makes them wonderful tools for myths and mystery in the cultural zeitgeist. What's your favorite famous spider? People have different feelings about spiders. Some are afraid of them, which is called arachnophobia, while others find them fascinating or even cute. Spiders are often misunderstood, but they play an important role in nature by controlling insect populations. Personally, I'm a little afraid of spiders, but I try to overcome this fear because I know they are mostly harmless and they eat mosquitoes, which do often bite me. When you see a spider, it really is best to just leave it alone. If you can't do that, relocating it outside is another good option. Speaking of seeing spiders, there are some animals that are often confused for spiders. Opaliones go by many names. I call them daddy log legs, but they are also called cellar spiders or harvest men. They are not spiders. If you look closely, you can see they only have one body part instead of two. These unique arachnids have special mouths that are not able to pierce the human skin, so you are at no risk of being bitten by one. Some people confuse crane flies for spiders. These animals are actually insects and look a little like mosquitoes. However, they can't bite you like a mosquito can. Another animal that some might confuse for a spider is the spider cricket. These large crickets are common in basements and move so quickly you might not get a good look at them and think it's a spider. However, it's just another type of insect. Have you ever confused something for a spider that turned out to be another kind of animal? What was it? I hope you enjoyed learning about spiders. Let's learn some fun facts about spiders. 
Before we do, I just want to remind you that liking this video and subscribing helps me to be able to create more videos like this. So if you've enjoyed this video so far, please don't smash the like button, but instead nicely relocate it outside. But also hit it. Please hit the like button. Thank you. Anyway, here's some fun spider facts. Spider silk is five times stronger than steel of the same size. Some spiders can hold their breath underwater for up to 24 hours. Spiders can regrow lost legs, but please be nice and don't tear off their legs. The world's fastest spider is the Moroccan flick flack spider, which can also do flips to escape danger. Some male spiders give gifts to the female during mating. I wonder if female spiders prefer chocolate or roses. You are not safe underwater from spiders. Some spiders eat fish. Some spiders live in colonies with thousands of other spiders. And if I ever see one of those colonies, I will be noping out of there. Not all spider silk is the same. There are different kinds. Some spiders can produce up to seven different types of silk for their various needs. Colored vision is somewhat rare in the animal kingdom, but jumping spiders can see in color. Spider webs can trap sound to help spiders detect prey. And finally, the question on everyone's mind, can a spider get caught in its own web? Technically, it is possible, but spiders have a few ways to prevent this. This includes walking on the non-stick threads, having a chemical coating that prevents sticking, not coming into contact with multiple threads at once, having hairy feet that are also able to grip, and walking carefully. So you are probably not going to see a spider that got caught in its own web. But there are spiders that eat other spiders. So you very well may see a spider in a web, but it's probably not its own web. Spiders are truly amazing creatures, and even though they might seem scary at first, they have so many unique abilities that make them important to our world. Whether they're spinning webs, jumping to catch their food, or playing a role in our favorite stories, spiders are definitely worth learning about. Thanks for watching, and I hope you've enjoyed our deep dive into the fascinating world of spiders. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Parents and teachers, if you are educating students about spiders, click the link in the description for spider-related educational resources. Remember to get messy and make lots of mistakes today. Bye!